The sun is the source of many of the energy resources here on Earth. Uh, we've got nine energy resources on this page. Uh, which ones are directly from the sun? So let's start with coal. Now coal is made when vegetation, plants and trees die and fall to the bottom of let's say the ocean or bodies of water and over millions of years those layers build up and so there's a great pressure on that that vegetation and it ends up forming coal which is carbon but where does that vegetation come from well it needs sunlight of course to grow so coal does come from the sun oil is very similar instead of vegetation it's small animals and plankton falling to the bottom of the sea building up in layers lots of pressure over millions of years creates oil and in fact at the same time that gives off hydrocarbon gases which collect above the oil in big reservoirs such as that you would find in the North Sea and other locations around the world so both of those require sunlight because the animals wouldn't be able to survive without sunlight. So we've got two more which have their source directly from the sun. I mean this process is continuing today but it's so slow as, it's, as I say it takes millions of years that we're using up the coal, oil and gas faster than the earth can create it from sunlight. What about nuclear nuclear resources for the uranium-235 fuel that is mined in places such as Australia uh, for nuclear reactors so we can generate electricity. Where does that nuclear material come from, that uranium out of the rocks? Well that's actually in the Earth's crust uh, and that was when the Earth was formed uh, from the solar system. So that is not Nuclear power doesn't have a uh, uh, doesn't have its source from the sun. Wind, wind power, turbines generating electricity. Where does wind come from? Well, sunlight heats up the atmosphere, which creates thermals, bodies of air which rise, and that of course creates wind. And so that is definitely a, uh, a energy resource from the sun. Hydroelectricity, falling water. Well, you need rivers. Where does the water come from? Well, it needs to rain. And in order to rain, you need sunlight to evaporate the water off the oceans, up into the atmosphere, and then it rains, forms rivers, and the cycle continues. So that also needs sunlight as its source. Wave energy. Now, wave energy is waves are created from wind that goes across the Earth's surface and the ocean's surface. So wind is from the sun, so if we didn't have wind we wouldn't have waves. So waves are also uh, from the sun. What about tidal power? The tides rise and fall twice a day. We can sometimes use that to drive turbines. And so where does that come from? Well, that comes from the rotation of the moon and the moon's gravitational pull on the water of the Earth. And in fact, as the moon rotates around the Earth, it makes the Earth, Earth's water bulge a little bit. And that's tides. Those are tides that happen twice a day. So that is not dependent on the sun. It's dependent on the moon. Finally, geothermal energy. That's hot rocks as you drill down below the crust uh, or into the crust and into the mantle of the earth. Uh, where does that heat energy come from that we can use to make steam and drive turbines to make electricity? Well it comes from the radioactive processes that happen deep in the earth's uh, core and the thermal energy that's produced uh, produces convection currents which rise up into the mantle and that's geothermal energy that's where the heat energy comes from thermal energy comes from the nuclear processes and decay happening in the core so that does not depend on the sun 
And so there we have it from the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 energy resources. We've got uh, 6 are have their source from the sun and three of them, that's nuclear and tidal and geothermal, don't have the sun as their source.